The History of Human Rights Perhaps the earliest recognisable document featuring any mention of what we have come to call human rights comes from the Persian Empire under the rule of Cyrus the Great. After the conquest of Babylon of 539 BCE, Cyrus ordered the creation of a cylinder that would enable many Jews to return to their homeland after Babylonian captivity. Amongst many historians, however, this has caused much controversy, some calling it out as a pinnacle of modern human rights, whilst others calling it a phantom of true human rights. Nevertheless, it is held in the British Museum, and a copy is kept in the United Nations headquarters. Fast forwarding to 1215 England, the unpopular King John and Pope Innocent III have had a falling out with monumental consequences. The Pope decides to excommunicate John, causing huge ripples of embarrassment and revolutionary sympathies across England. Many barons and leading nobility from across England band together in revolution and force King John to sign Magna Carta in 1215. Essentially, this charter took away certain powers from the king and gave them to the people. For example, the establishment of fair trials for all peoples, a key message in the Magna Carta and one we carry with us today. In an attempt never to repeat the atrocities of the Second World War, the United Nations, in 1948, presented the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Eleanor Roosevelt was a key lobbyist for this declaration, and with her help, a new chapter in human rights history was formed. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights, or UDHR, consists of 30 articles. In it, contains the human rights that are bestowed upon all of us today. It aims to protect all peoples with universally bestowed rights against violations that include, but not limited to, the occurrence upon someone's sense of dignity or livelihood. It aims to ensure that never again, violence, discrimination, and inhumanity ever reign unopposed.